Analysis of Variance Analysis of Variance, or ANOVA, is a parametric procedure used to determine the statistical significance of the difference between the means of two or more groups of values. By parametric, it is meant that the data are normally distributed in a normal or bell-shaped curve. Unlike the t-test procedure, which we examined earlier in this course, which can only be used with two groups of values, ANOVA can be used with more than two groups. A very popular use of ANOVA is in an experiment where the researcher has established a control group and an experimental group that need to be tested and compared on some type of performance. Another example of how ANOVA could be used would be to test the means of the differences among people of different racial or ethnic groups in terms of their opinions on some phenomena. ANOVA uses the mean, the variance, and a table of critical values for an F distribution to calculate an F value. The rejection or acceptance of the statistical significance of the differences in two or more means is based on a standard that no more than 5% of the difference is due to chance or sampling error, and that the same difference would occur 95% of the time should the test be repeated. Some researchers use a more rigorous standard of 1%, and that the same difference would occur 99% of the time should the test be repeated. Analysis of variance can be used for several types of analyses, including one-way analysis of variance, n-way analysis of variance, multiple regression, and analysis of covariance. One-way analysis of variance assumes there are two variables, with one variable a dependent interval or ratio variable, numerical data that show quantity and direction, and one variable, an independent nominal variable or factor, such as an ethnicity code or gender code. N-way analysis of variance assumes there are three or more variables, with one variable, a dependent interval or ratio variable, and two or more independent nominal variables or factors, such as ethnicity code or gender code. Multiple regression assumes there are three or more variables with one variable a dependent interval or ratio variable and two or more independent interval or ratio variables such as test scores, income, or grade point average. Analysis of covariance assumes there are three or more variables with one variable a dependent interval or ratio variable and two or more variables are a combination of independent nominal interval or ratio variables. Depending upon the options used, ANOVA can be presented in different ways in a study or a report. For a one-way ANOVA, the following is, a, is an example of the simplest. The analysis of variance indicated that there were significant differences among the four groups. F3,96 equals 7.50, P less than 0 0.01, where F equals the F statistic, the two numbers in parentheses, 3 and 96, equal the number of groups and n, the number of cases adjusted for degrees of freedom, and p indicates the level of statistically significant difference among the means. Another popular way of presenting a one-way ANOVA is as a table, as illustrated in figure A.10 which shows the results of a one-way ANOVA that was performed to compare the means of the student per microcomputer ratio in two school districts. The one-way procedure was performed with one dependent variable, the student per microcomputer ratio, and one independent variable, the region. The final column, sig equals 0 .000, is the, is the statistical significance of the differences in the means and indicates that there is a statistically significant difference between the means in the two regions for the student per microcomputer ratio. The SPSS program commands that generated the above example are in the Analyze menu in Compare Means One-Way ANOVA. See figure A.11. Figure A.12 shows the results of a one-way ANOVA that was used for more than two groups. 
The one-way procedure was performed with one dependent variable, student per microcomputer ratio, and one independent variable, level. Level refers to three school groups, primary, middle, and secondary. The final column, sig equals .003, is the statistical significance of the differences in the means and indicates that there is a statistically significant difference between the means and the three levels for the student per microcomputer ratio. In executing the one-way ANOVA procedure for more than two groups, the researcher can perform what is known as a post hoc analysis to determine which of the groups is statistically the most different. The Chef test, the Fisher's LSD test, and Tookie's HSD test are commonly used for this purpose. The ANOVA procedure also can be used to examine the effect of more than one independent variable on a dependent variable. Figure 8.13 is the output of an N-way ANOVA procedure to determine if there is a difference in the means of the number of students per microcomputer for the two independent variables of level, which is primary, middle, or secondary school, and person, which is the administrative teacher computer co or computer coordinator responsible for coordinating educational computing. Before examining the F statistics for the main effect variables, level and person, it is important first to examine the F statistics for the two-way interaction variables to determine if one of these variables is having a statistically significant effect on the other. This is determined by looking at the F statistic 1.461 and the significance equals 1.97 for the two-way interactions of level and person. Because the statistical significance is above 0.05, one can assume that no significant interaction exists and can proceed to examine the main effects. In other words, the effect of level on students per microcomputer ratios is the same regardless of the person coordinating educational computing and the effect of person on students per microcomputer ratios is the same regardless of the level of the school. The combined main effects show an F statistic of 3.134 that is statistically significant at the point zero one one level. The main effect F statistics also indicate that a significant difference exists for the level F equals 5.152 significance equals point zero zero seven but that no significant difference exists for person F equals point four two four significance equals point seven six eight. In sum, the level of the school has an effect on students per microcomputer ratios, but the position of the person responsible for educational computing does not. The SPSS program commands that generated the ANOVA table in figure 8.13 are in the Analyze menu in the General Linear Model Univariate. See figure 8.14. In summary, ANOVA is among the most popular of statistical procedures and can be used with a number of different research methodologies. It is critical to any study looking to compare two or more groups.